Hello lovely people. Welcome to my YouTube channel Rich Brain. Today we are going to find solution to the differential equation on the board. We say we should find a general solution to the differential equation. x square y prime prime minus 3x y prime plus 3y equal to 0. Or in other words, x square the second differential of y minus 3x the first differential of y plus 3y equal to 0. So this particular problem is on Cauchy Euler homogeneous differential equations. It is homogeneous because it's equated to zero. It is Cauchy Euler too because it all the derivatives, all the, the some of the derivatives are having a variable coefficient. So anytime we meet Cauchy Euler differential equations, we let the dependent variable y to be equal to x exponent n, where m is constant and x is the independent variable. And in solving this, we we'll get the values of m in three different forms, where m will be two distinct roots, where m will be repeated roots, or where m will be a complex root. So, if m here is our two distinct roots, then our general equation y will be equal to c1 x exponent the first value of m, say m1, plus c2 x exponent m the second variable of m, say m2. Then, if m are repeated roots, then our y will be equal to c1 x exponent m plus c2 x exponent m lin x. Then when our y is a complex root, then our y will be equal to x exponent alpha times cos beta lin x then plus i sine beta lin x where alpha is the real part of the complex root and beta is the imaginary part of the complex root so after solving this the nature of our value m we determine the kind of general solutions that we have. So since we say y should be equal to s exponent m, we just differentiate this. So we say our y prime will be equal to the differential of this. Remember m is constant. So simple differentiation rule say we should drop the exponent, repeat the function, subtract one from the exponent. So this will be the differential of y. Then our y prime prime will be equal to, we differentiate this to get, we differentiate the first differential to get the second differential. So we'll drop the exponent again to multiply that. Then we'll repeat the function, m, and subtract 1 from the exponent. So m minus 1 minus 1 will be m minus 2. So since we know y, we know the first differential of y and the second differential of y, or the second derivative of y, we substitute it into our differential equation. So in substituting to our differential equation, we we'll say our x square. Now what is the second derivative of y? That's that. So we we'll say that will be m m minus one s exponent m minus two. Then minus three x. The first derivative of y. Or the, the first derivative of y is m x m minus exponent a, m minus 1 then plus 3 our y is s exponent m so we say s exponent m all that equal to 0 so this we we'll multiply this see the basis are the same then we we'll just add the exponent so this will just be s exponent m minus 2 plus 2 when this multiply that 
and minus 2 plus 2 will be 0. So what will be left there is s exponent m. So the product of this will be s exponent m, m times m minus 1, then minus 3. This x2 here is exponent 1 times this will be s exponent m minus 1 plus 1 using this is and minus 1 plus 1 that will give us 0 so how s exponent m so we can say this will be 3 m s exponent m then plus our 3 s exponent m equal to 0 so you agree with me that s exponent m is common to all of them so factor it out so s exponent m out we have m times m minus 1 minus 3 m then plus 3 all that equal to 0 so we divide both sides by s exponent m here by s exponent m you see that this will go away. So we'll be left with m, m minus 1, minus 3m, plus 3, and this is still 0. So our next step is to expand this bracket. So we have m square minus m, minus 3m, plus 3, equal to 0. So bracket the first two and the last two. What's common here? M is common. M out. M minus 1. What's common here? 3 is common. So 3 out. M minus 1. And that equals 0. So factor out our M minus 1. And we left with M minus 3 equal to 0. So our M is equal to 1 or 3. That's equating this. Each of these two zero. So our n are two distinct roots. Then we can say the general solution to our differential equation y of x will be equal to remember c1 s exponent the first value of m which is 1 plus c2 s exponent the second value of m which is 3 which can be rewritten as y of x is equal to c1x plus c2 s exponent 3 i hope this help you so if some boundary conditions are given to us we substitute to get our constant c1 and c2 to get a particular solution if this interests you please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel like and comment because these are the only ways you can help promote my youtube channel and i can record more mathematical content for you. Do well to check out my videos on when the values of m are repeated root and complex root. Until we meet again, this is Rich Brain.